I think I'm getting to become a cranky old man at times. Last night we had a committee meeting of the Marine Group I'm involved with and the person who normally sets up the laptop and projector dropped it in early, vanished and left a note for me saying it's absolutely straightforward, no problem connecting it up and making it run. Well, there's four interesting things. Firstly, the cable, firstly you have to turn on the projector before you turn on the laptop because the laptop couldn't find the projector. So that was number one hurdle. Not written down anywhere. Number two, the cable that connected the laptop to the projector was a cable that had exactly the same fitting on both ends and was a black cable with heavy sort of black encrustation on either end. And so it turned out that that could only go in one way if you wanted the data to flow properly. It could fit both ways, but the data would only flow one way. Thirdly, there were two optional holes at the back of the projector which that cable would fit into. The nearest one, the one we would use, the wrong one. So that's another hurdle to overcome. Fourthly, when you had to turn the projector on, you turned the power button on and it all lit up and it gave spurious information on the screen and wouldn't do anything more. And it turns out that you have to actually push the power button twice. Once to turn it on, once to tell it to get its act together. Now I got fairly cranky and someone told me that was simple. It is if you know, but like all technology, it's diabolically difficult if you don't. And I think it's time we've revolted in some way about this nonsense that goes on with technology today. Whereas a simple example, if you look at the computer here that I'm looking at, down the bottom it says a green start button, and you've got open start to find stop. It's all downhill from there. Perhaps it's Monday grumpiness, but I thought you might be interested.